I'm Jennifer Angel. Hi Capricorn. This is my report for January the 23rd. I do have my 2017 written report up on my website. There's the address jenniferangel.com. I will have the videos done next week. Yes, I know they're late. Thank you for your patience. It's been a little difficult to maintain all the complimentary um, videos and horoscopes, but as promised, uh, I am doing it. So um, go and have a look at the written report first and we'll get the videos up next week. There's the website again, jenniferangel.com. Now this week we do have a square between Venus and Saturn, Saturn being our ruling planet. Last week we had a square between Mars and Saturn. So hence my big Saturn background this week. Um, now, um, so Saturn is in the sign before ours and Venus is in our area of communication and creativity. So something that on a creative level that's from the past or you've been trying to sort of get going for a while, that can sort of come up now. Okay, but you because it's a square, last week with Mars would have been the trigger. And this week there's more connection with people coming up but because it is a square you want to be careful of the way you communicate okay so um don't try to be normal capricorn and take over so remember you know life is like a chess game you've got to like put out wait for someone to come back and then you say something so you get this normal sort of to and throw and also that that main frustration that we had this last week with Mars um, and Saturn uh, it clears the way next week with Venus sort of coming into that uh, vibration uh, and exchange instead because Mars and Saturn are really sort of opposite energies. Mars wants to be impulsive and push forward and Saturn wants to be cautious and pull back on a weight. So that sort of sets up a little bit of frustration, particularly for a Capricorn because you just want to get ahead and do it and in that sense that's why you know we're known as controlling we're not really controlling we just like to get things done okay um, but nevertheless now right on at the end of the week in our Capricorn sign we've got Pluto and Mercury and they're going to conjunct so be at the same degree so leading up this week and leading up next week we're going to have that energy and vibration so that I love this together I love when things are uh, favorably connecting with Pluto because with Pluto being in our sign and so transformational so potent and powerful energy and with a communication planet there Mercury controls creativity and communication commerce then that indicates that there's, you can get, if you're waiting on news, then it can come through this week. It's at the end of the week, okay? Now, and it's almost at the same time, and certainly the vibration of it is at the same time, excuse me, as the Venus square Saturn. So, once again, that's a message. Don't jump the gun. Be patient, okay? Don't get in your own way. Let things happen. Play the chess game of life. And then we have a new start with the new moon in our monetary area. So thank goodness for that. Okay, that's always a good sign. Um, so all in all, it's a very progressive week. All right. So um, go ahead and have a, a look at your written 2017 report. There's the address again. I also, this is my new site that I, I just got up at uh, um, design right from the start, did it all myself, hence why I'm sort of behind on everything. So uh, there it is again, jenniferangel.com and have a look at the personal readings. This is a great time to book a personal reading and I love doing uh, the, the readings and it's a terrific time at the start of the year to see what's coming up for you, okay? If you've got any questions then just send me an email, uh, the emails on every page I think and through the contact page and um, you know love hearing from you and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have okay all right love and luck to you thanks so much for watching supporting me and being so patient I appreciate it bye for now